be for everyone. If you enjoy being lied to about your president's cognitive abilities, support Orwellian totalitarianism, or are excited about communist fiscal policy, independence may not be right for you. Common side effects of independence may include an awakening of rational thought, successfully identifying propaganda, freedom of choice, loss of hatred, anti-narcissistic behavior, and love of democracy. This commercial is, it's hilarious. <laughs> Trump derangement syndrome commercial. You gotta watch this, take a look. Are you or your loved ones suffering from illnesses such as TDS, also known as Trump derangement syndrome? Do you dismiss or deny the current issues facing our country, such as historic inflation, illegal immigration, corporate corruption, World War III escalations, and the chronic disease epidemic? Are you willing to elect someone who was the least popular vice president in modern history? and who offers no policy or vision for America simply because your brain keeps telling you anyone but Trump. If so, you might be struggling from TDS. Introducing Independence. Independence allows you the freedom to finally think independently once again. Instead of believing everything you hear from the mainstream media, independence allows for constructive critical thinking. I used to hear people on the news say things like Donald Trump and the movement he has encouraged are a threat to democracy. And I instantly believed it. With independence, I now realize the media is run by the Democrat elite, who are a corrupt oligarchy that censors free speech, silences political opponents, supports forever wars, and abandons democracy by anointing its candidates. Independence may not be. Hey, man, this commercial's right. They're not playing. When people had TDS, these people just go along to get along. Hey, we're going to vote for uh, uh, Joe. Well, he can't have a speech. He can't walk straight. He fumbles the bag when he goes to the podium. He has a teleprompter. He reads stuff like, a pause. You're not supposed to read that, Joe. You're not supposed to read the pause part in the teleprompter. And then they install Kamala. She didn't win no uh, debate against Joe. She was the most unliked VP in history. They're telling you right here. No one liked Kamala. No one liked Kamala. But you're going against Trump, so we have to like Kamala. Yeah, let's, let's all vote for her. Why? Why does she deserve your vote? Seriously, folks, why? Ask yourself that. And if you don't have the answer, you got TDS. Be for everyone. If you enjoy being lied to about your president's cognitive abilities, support Orwellian totalitarianism, or are excited about communist fiscal policy, independence may not be right for you. Common side effects of independence may include an awakening of rational thought, successfully identifying propaganda, freedom of choice, loss of hatred, anti-narcissistic behavior, and love of democracy. I used to blindly hate whoever my party was running against. I didn't care about facts or policy because I was hopelessly indoctrinated. With independence, I'm much more interested in policies that uphold democracy, and I truly care about the health of our country and its citizens. Ask your doctor if independence is right for you and enjoy your freedoms once again. Wait, so what was your reaction when you found out that Biden dropped out? Man, it was inevitable. You know, all they had to do was have Biden as president, Harris as vice president. If he became incapacitated, Harris would be president. What the hell? I sure was surprised, but I knew it was coming. I personally felt that he wasn't more of a leader, but he was more of like a pawn and they were using him as just as a figure. I was excited. About five of my friends texted me immediately. I was I was kind of relieved. I think that was the right move. He's he's clearly not all the way there mentally and yeah, there, there needs to be some fresh blood in the White House. This is a huge talking point right now. It's about all we talk about. I mean, we had friends in from Illinois the other night and. We, that's what we talked about for about an hour. I, I work with a lot of political guys at work, and I overhear them around the lunch, and they all have their comments and stuff like that. It is big news, but I don't enter conversations about it because everybody's so touchy um, regarding the subject. If you could choose someone to be the Democratic nominee, who would you choose? Boy, that's a tough one because I have not researched at all. Please tell us what you told President Biden to persuade him to step aside. Well, I've never come, I've never shared any conversations with the president of the United States uh, publicly, no. It's said that he's furious at you. 
Is he? Well, he knows that I love him very much. I understand that you don't want to own this, um, but it is so well reported no. that you were the leader of a pressure campaign. No, I wasn't a leader of any pressure party. Well, let me say things that I didn't do. I didn't call one person. I did not call one person. I could always say to him, I never called anybody. What I'm saying is I had confidence that the president would make the proper choice for our country, whatever that would be. And I said that, whatever that is, we'll go with. Had you seen a decline in Joe Biden, and did you think he needed to step aside? No. My whole point was, whatever he decides, but we have to have a more aggressive campaign. This is what the Democrats do. They blindly support someone, and they don't care. Ultimate vitriol hatred towards Donald Trump and their supporters. We don't go to uh, Biden rallies and try to shoot Biden in the head or Kamala. We're not doing that. That's you guys. That's y'all with the TDS. Losing your mind, screaming on the floor, crying. No, Trump won. <laughs> y'all seen that video of that kid crying uh, about uh, Joe Biden resigning and giving the baton to uh, Kamala? Screaming and crying in his car, hitting his head. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. Pull your head out of your butts. What's up with all the hate? I got ultimate hatred. And y'all can't is the one that's been saying, yeah, we're good on the border. You're not good on the border. 15,000 a day. Venezuelans taking over Colorado. Taking it over. Anarchy. Chaos. Emptying out prisons. Not controlling these riots. This is y'all's candidate. Y'all gonna blindly support this candidate still. In November, the woman couldn't even do an interview. CNN interview scripted, fumbled that, had Tim Walsh to help her. Come on, guys. Get your head out of your butt, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.